ulit sa inyo, Kat Barkadas! Welcome to Day 3! So, sino dito ang complete attendance na so far? Sige nga, taas kamay dyan sa comment section. Sinong nang nakalood ng Day 1, Day 2, Day 3? Ayan, nakita ko madaming present. Mi, mi po, mi. Ayan, present. So, sa mga nandito kahapon, Napansin namin, madami nagtatanong dito kahapon kung sino yung sobrang cute na dog sa likod namin. Sino dito ang nakakita ng dog na yon? Nakaupo siya dito eh, sa bandang likod ko. Yan, dyan. May dog dyan kahapon. So, ayan, tinatanong, sino daw ba? Ayan, sabi ni Kevin, ako, ano name ng dog? Ayan, may mga nagtatanong talaga nito kahapon. At hindi kami nagkaroon ng chance to answer yesterday, but eto na. Gusto niyo ba siyang makilala? Ayan, sabi ni Monica, cutie doggo. Totoo, cute nga siya talaga. Ayan, okay, ito na. Meet West. He's our vibe patrol. Ayan, sobrang cute niya, ba? He is owned by one of the Canvanauts here. Very friendly, cute, and adorable naman talaga, ba? So, ayan, nakilala niyo na siya. So, dog reveal, wala siya today. Yung may-ari kasi sa kanya, nag-volleyball. Pero baka ma-invite natin siya ulit sa Friday, tignan natin. So, ayan. Nauna ko, na siya, nauna ko pa siya introduce bagong sarili ko, no? Pero, for those who are new today, let me introduce myself. I'm Nice, one of the community managers here in Canva. And I'm your host every day. So, sana by now, hindi pa kayo sawa sa akin. At sana, nag-enjoy kayo sa workshop natin. Katulad na lang ng sayang nararamdaman namin dahil... Kasama namin kayo for 3 days now. O ba 3 days na tayo magkakasama. Some reminders lang. Stay till the end kasi we have lots of things lined up for you. Keep the chat active again kasi my teammates Mitch and Nix are here to, to answer some of your questions. But may Q&A din naman tayo mamaya. So make sure to drop your questions as we go along. We are about to start na pero icebreaker muna tayo. The past few days, puro pagkain ng icebreaker natin. So, iibahin naman natin today. Ang tanong ko ay, what do you never leave the house without other than your phone, keys, or wallet? So, kunyari, aalis kayo ng bahay. Ano yung bagay na hindi nyo pwedeng dala or hindi nyo pa pwedeng maiwan? Ayan, tignan natin. Sab may nagsabi, water, money. Actually, tama yon. Hindi tayo pwede lumabas ng wala tayong pera. Sabi na isa, lip tint. Power bank, panyo, wipes. Alcohol, actually nag essential ng alcohol sa panahon ngayon, no? Ayan, eyeglasses, extra face mask, actually, and umbrella sakto, maulan-ulan din kasi ngayon. Ako, ang iniisip ko, ako naman tumbler, parang gusto ko lagi ako may dalang tubig. Ayan, si Brian Charger, kating ko si Ish, oh, perfect, ready siya, lagi siya may dalang kating ko. Si... Benzar, inhaler. Ayan, so siguro may hika si Brazer. Si Estrulia, eyeglasses. Ayan, si Leomar, white flower. Si Mary, ang oh, yung baby daw niya. O, oh, dala-dala niya parate. Ayan, sabi ni Avi, gusto daw niya yung blouse ko. Isha share ko sa yung link mamaya. Check yung lang. Pero, also, ayan, si Chris, face towel. Antihistamine, sobrang dami yung answers. Thank you so much for your answer. Chinek ko lang talaga kung alive na alive pa kayo kasi syempre gabi na. So, ayan. Day 1 natin, we talked about Canva, graphic design, and Canva for Teams. Kahapon naman, we talked about branding and social media mastery. So, kanina nakita ko may mga nagsasabi na hindi sila naka-attend ng day 1 and day 2. Okay lang yon, makikita nyo yon sa ating Canva Facebook page just in case gusto nyo pang mapanood. Pero today, we will talk about photo and video editing. So sana, again, kasi excited namin kayo kasi promise. Ako grabe, sobrang excited ako for this one kasi siguradong may new skills tayong maa-unlock. Sure yan. So ano bang iniintay natin? Let's start. Here to guide us is a fellow Canva note, Mika Abisamis. Mika is a template designer in Canva. Prior to her role as a designer, she did freelance photography for several years working with established brands and publications. Combining her design background and photography experience, she's happy to share her knowledge and skills in editing photos and designing with Canva. So ayan, paramdam nyo naman ng Canva love by sending some emojis sa chat. Tignan natin. Let's call on Mika.
Ayan, hello, thank you, nice. And thank you din po sa inyong lahat for making time today. Nakita ko kanina sa chat from different parts of the Philippines pa yung mga viewers natin today. So ito na nga, let's talk about shooting and editing photos on your phone. So hello, my name is Mika and I am a senior graphic designer here in Canva. As nice mentioned earlier, bago ako naging designer, dati akong full-time photographer. So I'm going to share some tips on how to shoot and edit photos on your phone. Siyempre, ang gagamitin nating editor ay Canva, which if you didn't know, is a free tool that you can use to make your photos stand out with ease and confidence. So I'll be taking you through the basics of photo editing and papakita ko rin sa inyo ang mga features sa Canva na pwede nyo gamitin. So kung gusto nyo sumabay during the session, i-download nyo na ang Canva app sa phones nyo and log in with your account. That way, you'll be ready to dive in and start playing when we begin exploring the photo editing features. So in case you've never used the Canva app before, here is a short preview of all the amazing features in the app. Ayan, bongga ng pa-video natin. So, may na-skip ba ako na slide? Ayan. So, for my portion of today's webinar, itong apat na to ang pag-uusapan natin. So, one, how to shoot with your phone. Two, learning the basics of editing. Three, canvas photo editor. And four, filters and effects sa Canva. So, bago tayo magsimula, our generation is very comfortable with technology. Araw, araw tayo nagpipicture, di ba? So, pwedeng food, nature, or kahit simpleng selfie. Before we dive into the technicalities of shooting and editing, kaya nyo bang hulaan kung ilang selfies ang nakakapture every day around the globe? Type nyo lang sa chat yung answers nyo. How many selfies do you think the world takes each day? Yan, nakikita ko mga sagot. Three a day ang specific, yes. 10 billion at least 30. Yes, tama po tayo doon. At least 30 a day. Um, so, ito na po ang tamang sagot. 92 million selfies. Grabe, ang dami, di ba? Hindi umabot ng billion, pero madami pa din. Um, aside from selfies, the most common themes are photos of cats, food, cars, houses, people, shoes, food, friends, etc. You can take photos of just about anything. The question is, how to take a good one. These days, hindi mo na kailangan ng professional camera to get a good photo kasi sobrang advanced na ng mga smartphones natin, di ba? It has become a part of our day-to-day -day lives. So how can we maximize our phones and take better photos? So unang tip na mabibigay ko sa inyo ay to look for the light. The most important aspect of any photo is lighting. Lighting determines not only the brightness and darkness of your photo, but also the tone, mood, and atmosphere. Especially when you're shooting with your phone, kailangan mo talaga ng magandang lighting para makapag-produce ka ng good quality photos. Um, so ito, may kita nyo. Here are some examples of how lighting can affect the mood and atmosphere of your photos. So may kita nyo naman, pwedeng bright and warm or pwede rin namang dark and dramatic. Depende lang siya sa vibe na gusto mo talaga. Okay, so move na tayo sa next tip. My next tip is to find different perspectives. Instead of shooting everything from eye level, try shooting from different vantage points. So try nyo mag low angle, high angle, over the shoulder. Yan, try nyo lahat yan. By simply modifying your camera angle or the position of your body in relation to your subject, you can create a new and unique perspective for a more powerful image. So ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Yan, may kita nyo sa samples natin kung ano yung ibig kong sabihin. Iba-iba lang yung angles na kinuha nila, ba? Pero mas naging interesting yung shots. So, move na tayo sa next tip. So, my third and last tip is to embrace negative space. Parang very minimalist lang, ganun. Negative space emphasizes and defines the main subject of a photo. Pag malaki yung empty space sa photo nyo, 
it prevents your image from appearing too cluttered or chaotic. So, kung meron kang parang pinofocus sa image, hindi masyadong magulo, di ba? Makakapag-focus yung mata nyo sa isang bagay lang. Without colorful distractions and too many details, it's easier to draw your viewer's focus to your subject. The examples here are simple, pero hindi sila boring tignan, di ba? Malinis tignan, pero hindi boring. Madali lang i-recreate itong mga examples na to. Subukan nyo lang mag-take ng photo against a plain wall or try nyo mag-remove ng unnecessary objects pag nag-shoot kayo. And pwede nyo ding i-avoid ang busy backgrounds. So yun na lahat ng tips ko. Now, before we move on to editing, I'd like to ask everyone to download the workbook that accompanies this webinar. This workbook has a lot of relevant information about, about, sorry, about the Canva editor. Um, so may mga pages dyan naka-label learn, then may pages din na naka-label play. So yun, encourage ko kayong lahat na i-download po ito para mas makasabay kayo sa akin during this session. I'll be referring to specific pages in the workbook and I believe the best way to absorb um, the large amounts of information na talagang makuha natin today is makapag-practice kayo, di ba? Para at least mas ma mag-gets nyo kung ano yung sinasabi ko. So kung hindi nyo pa nata-download, go to this web address or mag-screenshot lang kayo ng QR code para meron kayong kopya in case gusto nyo i-try sa future yung workbook. Um, pero don't worry kung hindi nyo naman makuha yung um, QR now. May kita nyo siya uh, sa screen throughout this entire session. So ayun. Yan, I'll give you a couple of seconds to take a screenshot. Yan. Pwede din pong i-link ng ating mga moderators yung workbook sa chat. Yan, okay. So, yun na nga. Ready na ba kayo? Let's explore some of the basics of how we can edit and manipulate your photos in Canva. When you upload or select an image in Canva, you'll see a bounding box appear. So, yung parang lines sa, sa photos nyo, you can tap and drag to move it. You can make images bigger or smaller by dragging the corner handles out and in. You can also rotate your image by grabbing the rotation button shown dito sa screen. So, yung rotation na icon na yan, kung gusto nyong ikot-ikotin yung position ng image nyo, yun po yung gagawin nyo. If your image is mirrored or facing the wrong way, pwede nyo ding i-flip yung image by clicking the button that says flip. So, yung first wor workbook activity natin, it allows you to practice a practice practice these simple movements. So, yun, rotate, move, um, pag-increase ng size. So, yun. Yung po ang first activity sa workbook. Another basic concept in photo editing is cropping. So, I'm sure narinig nyo naman yung term na to. Na-experience nyo na ba na lahat ng solo photos nyo hindi maayos? Pero, ang ganda mo dun sa isang group photo nyo ng friends nyo. So, ang ginawa mo na lang is, kinrap mo na lang yung friends, yung friends mo. Tinira mo lang yung sarili mo. So this is where you can remove unwanted areas from your photo by zooming within the frame of the image. In other words, you are changing the composition of your photo. This allows you to draw focus towards the thing you want your audience to see. In this case, gusto mo makita ka ng audience, hindi yung group photo nyo. So it's nice to have some extra space around the photo. Pero minsan kasi, di ba, parang hindi mo na kailangan yung buong image. For example, with social media, may clean ang attention span ng mga tao. Hindi nila kailangan makita yung ibang distractions. Kaya we need to be straight to the point. And yun ang nagagawa ng pag-crop ng photo. Yan. This is a great example. Ang nakikita nyo naman sa left, we don't need all that extra stuff in the background. Yung boat, yung sky, yung mga bato sa beach, di mo kailangan yan. What we need is a picture of a happy family. Oh, sana all. By cropping the photo, we're able to highlight the look of joy on the parents' faces. O, oh, ba? Ang ganda. Referring back to the workbook, in our second activity, we have a fun task to get rid of a little photo bummer. So, double tap nyo lang yung image para makrop. And then, yan. So, cropping is basically adding an invisible picture frame. We can move the photo around, but the audience can only see what is shown through the frame. We can also make the picture bigger by grabbing the handles just like we did in the first exercise. Um, so while we are on the topic of frames, Canva has all sorts of interesting frames you can use as a surrounding photo, uh, a surrounding for your photo. 
So, pwedeng invisible, parang yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, or pwede rin visible na frames. Actually, hindi lang visible, decorative frames pa. Meron din pong iba't ibang shapes and textures depending on what you need for your photos. Simply go to the Elements tab, scroll down, and you'll see a section called Frames. Click on the See All, and you'll be presented with every type of frame you could imagine. So there are even frames that resemble phones and laptops um, if you need people to see how things will appear on a screen. So parang mock-up siya. Meron din tayong ganyan sa Canva. Okay, balik tayo sa workbook. Um, let's look for Activity 3. We've given you a picture of a famous landmark. Um, can you name this landmark? Nakikita niyo po ba sa workbook kung ano yung um, Activity 3? Yes, Taj Mahal. Okay, mukhang alam naman ng lahat. Yes, you're correct. It's the Taj Mahal. Correct. Ang galing naman. Ayan. So let's search for a suitable frame in Elements. Um, here's your timer. Keep scrolling and you'll start to get to some interesting ones. Or use the search function and type in India. Click on it and it will appear in the editor. So it drag nyo lang yung picture ng Taj Mahal into the center of the frame and it will automatically place it straight in. So ganun lang kadali, lalagay nyo lang yung photo sa frame tapos automatic na lalagay na siya dun. Okay, ito naman. Next. So, photography ulit. Now, let's talk about the rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is a compositional guideline that breaks an image down into thirds, both horizontally and vertically. In Canva, when you begin to move an image around in a frame, may kita nyo agad tong grids na to um, automatically. So, pagkapindot nyo ng image, may magpapop up agad ng mga grid lines. If you position a point of interest, something you want the audience to focus on, um, one of the lines across sections, it just magically makes your compositions more interesting. Yeah. Something that is perfectly balanced, as in symmetrically balanced, the same on both sides is sometimes parang boring or masyadong common, di ba, pag sobrang symmetrical. By moving it to the side, you can create an asymmetrical balance or unbalance it all together, which grabs attention and intrigues the viewer. Ganon. It also starts to suggest movement. By having it off-center, you allow the viewer's eyes to journey across the whole image to focus on the area of interest. The picture as a whole starts to hint at a wider story. Balik tayo sa workbook. There are three images that we think can be even more interesting by applying the rule of thirds. Just select crop, grab the corner you want to enlarge and make it bigger. Then you can move the image around within the frame Settling the point of interest on one of the cross sections or lines. So, ito drag nyo lang po yung image and then imo move nyo siya para tumapat siya dun sa isa sa grids or sa points dun sa lines. Ayan. So, sometimes it's helpful to see the before and after. So, I've just put them next to each other here. You can see with this, we are now emphasizing the blue sky coming in through the frame. So, yung unang sample is nasa gitna lang and then yung after naman is parang mas na-focus yung sky coming into the frame. Yeah, you can see how we've placed the lighthouse or the subject over the left-hand vertical line. You can either have the subject on the left side, pwede rin sa right side. So, depende naman yun sa personal choice nyo, kung saan nyo siya mas bet ilagay. Okay, another sample. This is a great shot, but look what happens when we reduce the rocks. Diba din sa first na parang dun sa left side, parang sobrang laki masyado ng rocks. Parang, parang kinakain na siya. Pero, dun naman sa left side, as ah, a right side, I mean, parang you get more of a sense of where he is looking. This time naman, we are positioning on the right vertical and bottom horizontal. Ayan. So, dun, tinapat mo siya dun sa point na yun ng grid. This one picks up on where the, sub the subject is looking. By placing them on the right-hand vertical, putting their eyes on the top horizontal. So, yung rule of thirds is just a technique that you can use. There are plenty of others. Hindi mo din kailangan. Sundin to, pero kung gusto mo, you can try it out. 
One tool that tends to be forgotten is the transparency tool. So itong tool na to, available to sa Canva, pero hindi siya masyadong nagagamit. It's a simple tool that basically makes objects see-through, so you can see the background coming through. For a photo on its own, you can use it to drop the intensity of the image using this simple, simple slider fading into the background. Para mas nagiging subtle yung image mo. You can do this if you need to put some text over it and make sure it's still readable. So kung wari, masyadong distracting yung photo mo, pero kailangan maglagay ng text over it, pwede mong bawasan yung ano niya, opacity niya using the fade tool. If you then also change the background color, you can give the impression of tinting the photo because the color shows through the photo. So yan, nag-iba yung tint ng image. You can make the photo appear warmer or cooler, or you can use a gradient background and really start to have some fun. Of course, you could keep the photo at full intensity and place a shape over the top and use transparency on that. Parang, it's the same thing lang naman. Okay, so yan, meron na naman tayong exercise. In case you're using transparency to create a tinted area of emphasis to show where the action is, um, where you want the audience to focus their attention. Okay, let's see. Use uh, sa chat. Transparency tool is one of the coolest tools there. Wow, sa'yo naman, may gumagamit din pala ng transparency tool. I, I can see na positive naman pala ang feedback natin sa tool na yun. So that's nice to hear. So let's go back to the activity. Use a circle placed over the figure and drop the transparency and you suddenly get a much more graphic image. So ayan, nakapag-follow po ba kayo sa ating activity? Ayan, okay. So kamusta? How are we feeling? Please react with a heart emoji kung okay pa kayo dyan. Or pwede ding mag-chat kayo kung ano bang feelings nyo so far. We're, alre we're already halfway through the workbook and so far we've made edits in a non-destructive way. So parang malalang pa naman tayo masyadong sinisira sa image, di ba? Ayan, daming hearts. Okay, so okay pa. Enjoying, yay! So, ayan. We've been doing things around the image, things that can be done, undone easily. So, mabilis nyo lang siyang i-revert back, di ba? Now, let's try and change the original picture. With Canva, you don't even have to switch apps. Pwede nyo nang gawin pati lahat doon talaga. You can do all of your editing in one centralized place. Okay, so, all you need to do is select the picture, Hit edit image and then choose the auto enhance. So kung hindi kayo masyadong magaling mag-edit, pwedeng pwedeng auto enhance na lang yung gamitin niyo kaagad. And then Canva will do all of the work. If you haven't used it before, you will need to go and load it at the bottom. So nasa baba siya. You can adjust how much enhancement you want by using the slider tool and once you're happy, hit apply and your image is instantly enhanced. So diba ganun lang, isang click lang na edit niyo na kaagad. Okay, sorry po. Counting energy. Yes, let's go. So, yun na nga. Just be aware that there is no going back pag napindot nyo na yung auto-enhance na yan. So, if you want to compare, you can hit the show original checkbox. Or, make a duplicate so you can compare the difference side-by-side side like I've done here. Yeah, my side-by-side ng auto-enhance. Okay. Of course, if you want a more manual experience, yung gusto mo ikaw talaga yung mag-experiment sa pag-edit, kayang-kaya rin yan sa Canva with adjustments. Click on the image, select edit image, and you'll see three options near the top under the adjust heading. So brightness, contrast, and saturation are the most common adjustments, and a quick play on these can convert a good photo to a great one. So may nabasa ko kanina, ginagamit niya daw is saturation. So kasama yun dito. So... If you click on the see all, you'll get exposed to a whole range of adjustments you can make to the original image. Okay. Um, so yeah, now I'm not going to go into them all, but it's worth explaining some of the ones you'll probably use the most often. So hindi ka pa explain yung buong Canva adjustments natin, lahat ng editor, pero ito yung mga tingin ko magagamit nyo talaga. So brightness affects the light or dark of individual colors. Here, the middle picture is the adjusted one. Take the slider one way to the right in this case, and you'll start to move all the colors closer to white. 
And then the opposite way moves all the colors closer to black. So ganun lang ang brightness. So kung imo-move nyo siya towards the right, mas liwanag. Kung towards the left, mas didilim. It's great for giving the overall color a bit of a boost or dropping it back if it's already too vibrant. Yan. Contrast is similar as in it deals with light and dark, but it only affects the difference between them. So, ganun din siya. Medyo maapektuhan niya in a way yung brightness. Pero the more contrast you give an image, the more difference there will be between the dark and light areas. So, slide one way and the difference becomes great with the highlights. So, yung highlight magiging very white and the shadows very black. So, sobrang, alam mo yung tingkad niya. Tapos, slide mo siya the opposite way and the difference between light and dark becomes a lot less. So, hindi na masyadong, parang faded na yung look niya pagka mas mababa yung contrast. Okay, sorry. Water break po muna tayo. Okay. Next, let's go to... Okay, sige. Bago ako pumunta sa saturation, magpasa muna tayo ng mga chat. May tools and features sa Canva na available. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, parang wala naman masyadong saturate. Uh -huh. Okay. So nice to know naman na parang familiar naman pala kayong lahat sa editor ng Canva. Yan. So yes, tama po si Dayan. Kung gusto niya pong ibalik ang old version niya kung napindot niyo ang auto-enhance, i-revert niyo lang po siya. Nice necklace. Thank you po. Pero hindi po tayo magpa-plug today. Okay, so sa balik na po tayo sa ating webinar. Saturation is all about the intensity of colors. So meron daw nakita kanina, familiar lang siya sa saturation. Pero po dun sa mga hindi familiar sa saturation, Send the slider all the way to one way and your colors will really become vivid. So, sobra magiging bugs yung color mo. Pero, pagka sobrang ano na, tingkad na talaga, pwede mo namang ibalik yung slider. Take it the other way and, yun nga, parang baba, mababawasan yung kulay ng isang photo. Parang, pagka sinagad mo talaga siya, magiging grayscale na siya. Black and white. Ganun. So, kung gusto mo ng black and white, go. Yan, pwede mong gawin yan. So, ayan, di na ako pupunta pa sa iba pang adjustments. But blur takes away the sharpness. Good if you want the image as a background. So, nakikita niya dito, di ba, sa screen niyo. So, parang di mo na may kita yung mismong image. Pero, pwede mo siyang gamitin kung gusto mo background lang siya. Kung ayaw mo makita yung subject. And then, ayan. Next naman, X process. Otherwise known as cross-processing. So, uso to dati nung film pa ang gamit natin. So, yun nga. Like I said, uh, ang in-emulate niya is parang yung film effect. Kung gusto mo yung itry, itry may X process. Um, so, it could lead to some unpredictable results with color and contrast. So, baka gusto niyong itry. This used to be messy and, exper and an experimental process. Pero with Canva, isang click lang. O, oh, diba? Nagawa niyo na agad. Hindi mo na kailangan gumastos. Next is a vignette. Um, ito naman, yung vignette, parang siyang dark border at the edge of your Oh, at the edge ng photos nyo. It gives it an old-fashioned feel and is good if you need to shift the focus to the center of the image. So, yung left, um, wala siyang big net. And then, the middle naman, 50% lang yung vignette. And then, the last one is 100% na vignette. Medyo subtle lang siya. Hindi siya sobrang parang boom na boom sa face mo. Pero, andyan siya. May change naman nang nangyari. Yan. So, nakikita niya naman sa screen, there are a bunch of other adjustments na pwede niyong gawin. So, have a play with them and see how they affect the original image. Yan. So, speaking of filters and effects, meron din tayo niyan sa Canva. Canva comes preloaded with some amazing filters. So, you just need to click once to apply consistent filler, uh, filters. For anyone who has used social media filters before, so feeling ko familiar na kayo kung ano yung sabihin ko dito, di ba? So filter is parang auto-edit na rin siya or auto-add ng um, color grading sa iyong photos. Ayan. Bigyan ko kayo ng samples ng filters na meron tayo sa Canva. Uh, this one is the duo tone effect. So nakikita nyo mag-iba agad yung itsura niya. Ibig sabihin kasi ng duo tone effect is... Magbabago yung color ng image mo. Duo meaning a pair of two colors lang. So pwede ka pumili ng two um, colors. Um, pero yun lang, this one is available sa pro accounts only, I think. Another filter or effect is the screen effect. Ito namang effect na to, medyo mas artistic kung gusto mo maiba ng konti. Similar to newspapers and comic books. 
Yeah, and then meron din tayong bagong um a filter effect. This one is the autofocus. So nag-add siya ng depth of field sa photos nyo. Parang from amateur magiging instantly professional kaagad in just one click. Yan. Without getting too technical, yung mangyayari is yung depth of field niya is parang mas magiging mas malabo, ganun. Yan. More modern smartphones do have a depth of field function. But kung wala kayong ganong option, um, hindi nyo na kailangang mag-alala kasi meron na sa Canva. Simply select your image, choose autofocus, from the edit menu and then adjust the sliders to get the right amount of blur in your background. So, isang warning lang, wag kayo masyadong OA kasi baka masyado na siyang obvious na in-edit nyo siya. And yes, tama ka Teresa, ang ganda talaga nito, lalo pag mag edit ka. Tapos gusto mo maging blur lang yung background mo. So, um, reminder lang, this is a destructive edit. So, when you hit apply, uh, magiging ganda na siya. Hindi na, di mo na siya ma-revert back. So, ayan. In the workbook na binigay namin sa inyo, meron pong um, image na parang yung background is grabbing too much attention. So try and knock it back a bit so the subject stands out more. Your image should end up looking something like this. So nakikita nyo sa screen. The first shot was a good shot um, where the emphasis was shared between the background and the girl on the skateboard. So nakikita nyo naman yung photo na yan. Parang desolate yung background. Ganyan, ganyan. And in the second naman, Ayan, in the second photo. Yan, ang focus naman natin is hindi na yung background. Yung focus nyo na is yung girl dahil yan sa autofocus. Yes. Di ba? Ang ganda. Ayan na, patapos na po ang ating journey through the photo editing tools in Canva. Sana po nakakeep up tayo until now. Um, everything I've mentioned before is free to users no matter whether you are on a free account or a pro account. This next thing na gusto kong ipakita sa inyo is pang pro na talaga to yung mga next one. So, ayun kung wala kayong pro, um don't worry, baka pwedeng pa rin siyang ma-try next time. Yan, kung gusto niyo sumama, ito po ang ating workbook. Ayun na. So, ayan, so ang sinasabi kong effect sa inyo ay ang background remover. Uh, their Gimlin is in Paris. Easy as that. Wala na yung background. Nalagay na siya doon sa Paris. This is particularly good if you need to create a product shot. So kung meron kayong business, um, I'm sure may madaming negosyantes dito, pwedeng-pwede nyo gamitin yung background remover para ma-isolate nyo lang yung shots nyo and mawala yung background. The AI behind is incredibly precise as in ang ganda talaga ng background remover but kung gusto mong mas manual, meron ding option for you to do that. Pwede mong i-select yung areas na gusto mong erase and pwede mo ding i-restore yung mga image, uh, parts ng image na nagkamali yung AI sa pagbura. So, ayun. And with that, we've come to the end of our Whistle Stop Tour of Canvas Photo Editing Tools. Ayan, haba nun. Okay, wow. So, ang dami nating na-discuss, no? Um, sana nag-enjoy naman kayo at natutunan nyo kung ano yung mga um, editing tools na yon Yan. So the key here is to practice and play. Have some fun. Huwag kayong mag-alala sa rules. Kasi hindi nyo naman masisira ang Canva kahit mag-explore, kahit mag-experiment sa photos nyo. So ang suggestion ko lang, kung mag-edit kayo, gumawa kayo ng duplicates in case hindi nyo um, nagustuhan yung edit na ginawa nyo. And kung masyado ng over the top yung experiment nyo. Yan. So thank you so much for listening to my portion. Pero bago ko umalis, Mayroon po ba tayong mga pahabol dyan sa chat? Thank you, Mika. You're welcome po, Miss Susana. Okay, Canva is the now. Yes, Canva is the now. I hope you guys um, got something out of this um, part from yung sa akin po, yung portion ko today. Sana po may tutunan kayo at sana hindi pa po kayo inaantok uh, kasi mayroon pa pong susunod. Um, for now, yun na lang po muna. I'll pass it back to Nice.
Ayan, thank you so much, Mika. Grabe, parang ang dami kong gustong itry sa editor after your talk. How about kayo? Ready na ba kayo to shoot your own photos for your negosyo? Sige nga, taas kamay sa comment section. Ayan, yes na yes. Si Kevin, yes. At sobrang daming exclamation points. So again, it's a yes. Hello again then Monica. Ayan. So video is up next, pero break muna tayo. Very important kasi itong announcement na ito, kaya everyday namin ina-announce. Some of you may have heard this in the past, in the past few days, but to those who are new today, Canva Negotiations 2023 is set to happen starting this June, and we are inviting all of you to join us. Watch this! Pwede talagang ma-leverage ng mga business owners um, to help them grow their business. Dahil dyan sa napanood nyo, we are looking for interested merchants to join us for our upcoming bazaar this August 2023. Nagdahanap kami ng mga businesses na willing to set up a booth, sell their products. Ang importante lang dito, gamit nyo ang canvas sa negosyo nyo, sa mga materials nyo, or even sa mga products nyo mismo. Pwede rin yun. Hinahanap talaga namin kayo. So to those who are interested, kindly fill up the application form by scanning the QR code you see on screen or going to canvaph.com slash merchant application. Reminder lang that we are still in the early stages of planning. This is just a call out for interested merchants. So we're still finalizing the specifics, but please stay tuned in our pages for news and updates. I screenshot nyo na to or i-save nyo na yung link. Our engagers will also share the link sa chat para you can save for later. So apply na kayo ha. Sino dito naka-apply na? Sige nga sabihin nyo yes. Dahil siguradong masaya to. Ayan, tingnan natin. Okay, si Estrella, yes. Nakasali na siya. Tsaka si Jessilyn, aabangan namin kayo. Pero ito na. Narinig nyo ba yung bell? Ako lang ba? May narinig ba kayong bell? O oh, ayan, nagiginig nyo. Sige nga, si Eskosyo palang ata nakarinig. Si Marjorie, si Ish, si Chen. Ayan, okay, rinig na rinig nyo ng lahat. So ano ba ibig sabihin ng bell na yon? Ang ibig sabihin nun, dito sa Canva, ibig sabihin may surprise kami para sa inyo. Swerte itong mga umaten ng day 3 dahil third day na, may surprise kami para sa inyo. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay mag-subscribe kayo sa YouTube channel namin. Magpapamigay kami ng isang 6-month Canva Pro subscription. Ang kailangan nyo gawin, punta na kayo ngayon sa YouTube namin, tapos click subscribe. Pagtapos na, type nyo lang sa comment section, done. Tapos, mamimili kami ng lucky recipient na makakakuha ng 6-month Canva Pro which we will announce before we end this session. Sige nga, tingnan natin sinong mga tapos na. Ayan, si Andami, nakita ko sa ni mga names, si Seth, si Jed, si Alma, si Olive, ayan, si Joshua. So actually, nabasa ko ngayon dahil ang dami nyo, magpapamigay kami ng dalawa. Dalawa na, na 6-month Canva Pro para matry nyo lahat ng, ng lessons na tinuro namin today. So ayan, sobrang dami ng done na. Reminder lang na pag mamaya, in-announce namin na kayo ang nanalo, kailangan nyo i-message ang Facebook page namin. Tapos, doon namin i-explain kung paano nyo makukuha yung um, yung kind of pro subscription na yan. So, antayin nyo mamaya. Click nyo lang done. Again, pag, dyan kasi tayo mamimili sa chat kung sino ang makaka-receive ng 6-month Canva Pro. So, ayan, done. Sige, tuloy nyo lang yan. Pwede pa kayo mag hanggat mamaya, hanggat nagtotalk tayo. Okay, ayan, exciting. Sige, makikita namin yan for sure. 
Pero, bumalik na tayo sa exciting part. We've also invited another Canva no, to teach us everything we need to know about video editing naman. O, di ba? Dre is a designer from Canva's Video Squad. He joined Canva in 2021 and since then, he has been instrumental in conceptualizing and developing video campaigns from animated infographics to YouTube kits. He is also part of the team that launched Canva Video Suite, a video creation product that empowers everyone to design and publish professional quality videos. A design nerd since 2017, Dre spends his time outside of Canva by designing brand identities for small Filipino brands and organizations. He is also a graduate of AB Multimedia Arts from De La Salle College of St. Benil. So ready na ba kayo? Ayan, pero nakikita ko pa, madami pa nagsasubscribe. But also, dahil ready na kayo, let's call in Dre! Hello? Narinig niyo na po ba ako? Okay na. Ayan. So yun nga yung sinasabi ko. Sana safe tayo ngayon sa ulan. Sana hindi bumagal ang internet natin. Pero syempre hindi naman ulan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So pag-uusapan natin ay simple and effective video editing. So first, magpapakilala muna ako. Sabi nga niya, ako si Dre, uh, Senior Designer for the Video Squad. And nagdito na ako sa Canva for two and a half years and... In that time, masasabi ko na grabe ang growth ng video. And kahit ngayon, grabe ang growth ng Canva video. Canva video specifically. So, ano bang pag-uusapan natin today? First, what is video? Second, how can video help your business? Third, what makes a good video? And fourth, ano ba yung Canva video suite? And of course, lastly, Paano tayo makagawa ng video using Canva? So first, define muna natin. Ano ba yung video? So, sa tingin nyo, ano po ba yung video? Ano yung mga favorite nyo videos? Dito, makikita nyo sa slide na to yung mga nagawa namin mga video templates so far. Kasi yes, meron na pong video sa Canva. May nakita na ba kayo dito sa Instagram na ginamit? Or kayo mismo, may nagamit na ba kayo dito? Yan. So, define muna natin ang video. Video is a program, movie, or other visual media product featuring moving images. So, sa inyo, ano po ba ang favorite movie nyo? Ano ang favorite video na nakita nyo sa YouTube? Or kayo mismo? Ikaw, fave namin ngayon sa video na nakita. Thank you, Tony. Yes po, for Instagram Reel. Super love Canva video for product launches for work. Yes. Favorite movie, Twilight. Wow, Bampira. Mark Waynes. Voltes 5. Yes, may bagong episode. Okay. Avatar. Okay. Clearly, alam niyo na kung ano video and alam niyo kung ano movie. So, paano natin magagamit ang video sa ating mga businesses, sa ating organizations? All roads are leading to video. Yan nga, ang daming sumagot ng video. Can you guess kung ilang percentage ng internet traffic ang video? Sige, guess. Ilang percentage ng all internet traffic ay video? 90, 100, 60, 78. Ayun, may malapit. Sa letrang I, 82. 82% of all internet traffic is video. This is according to Cisco, a prominent uh, technological communications company. And of course, saan ba natin matatagpuan ng video kung hindi sa social media? So Instagram, Facebook, definitely ang daming videos. And even ang Instagram, kung alam natin nagsimula sa isang photo sharing app, ay ngayon nag-pivot na sila na mas maging prominent ang videos. 
Meron po bang mga nagpo-post ng IG Reels? May mga nakagamit na po ba ng IG Reels templates namin? Yun, si Sander, si Ria, si Kay. Nice. And of course, one of the most downloaded applications of 2021 is TikTok. Kaway-kaway tayo sa mga TikTokers dyan. So, makikita natin na Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, of course, YouTube, di ba? Video is everywhere. Between these four apps, we have billions of users. And I'm sure isa kayo dun sa mga billions na yan. So, bakit ba important yung video? Why is video important, di ba? Video ads and video content reach more people on social media. The more people you reach, the more people will be attracted to your business. So, ano nga ba ang reach? Reach is the number of people who sees any content from your page or about your page. So, tandaan natin, kung gusto yung maging rich, dapat malawak ang reach. Yes. Tandaan niyo yan. So, dahil nga, sobrang laki ng demand sa video and everyone is on social media, I guess that can answer na video is really the way to go. So, next naman. What makes a good video? So, yung mga sinabi yung favorite movies nyo, ano yung favorite nyo doon? Ano yung gusto nyo sa mga movies na yun? Ba't nyo siya naging favorite? Or kung meron kayong paboritong YouTuber or TikToker, bakit nyo sila nagustuhan? Ano yung gusto nyo sa content nila? Animation, storytelling, cinematics, Spider-Verse, di ko pa napapanood, walang spoilers. Cinematography, effects, yes. So, tignan natin. First, of course, video should be visually appealing. Sabi nga natin kanina, di ba? It's moving images. Ibig sabihin gumagalaw. So, malaking factor kung ano yung unang makita ng mga viewers ng video nyo. Video is audio visual. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang siya kung ano nakikita, pero also kung ano naririnig. I'm sure kung fan kayo, ano ba yung nakita natin dito? Um, Parasite, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, ako ang ganda ng soundtrack ng Spider-Man. Again, wala mo ng spoilers sa Spider-Verse. Baka marami pa hindi nakanood. Okay, next. Dapat, ang magandang video knows its audience. So, I'm sure yung mga gusto nating videos and movies, Nagustuhan natin siya kasi merong, merong na-connect sa atin. Sabi nga ni DTI Love, Jira, Jamandre, story behind the objects. Next, what makes a good video dapat merong message. That can be literally, ano ba yung sinasabi ng video? Ano yung nakasulat sa video? Ano yung copywriting? But more importantly, what's the message? Why, why were you creating this video? Why should people watch the video. So, video dapat straight to the point. Bawal ang torpe sa video. Dapat direct and hindi paligoy-ligoy. And of course, at the end of it, dapat ang video, at the end of it, merong CPA or call to action. Especially for us, especially for the businesses na gagawa tayo ng videos, dapat at the end of the video, meron tayong gustong Sabihin sa viewer, gusto mo bang mag-subscribe sila? Gusto mong i-check out yung website mo? Product, mag-follow, kahit ano, basta importante, merong CTA. So again, a good video should include appealing visuals. It should use the right music. It should know its audience. It should ha have a message. It should be straight to the point. And it should include a call to action. So, let's introduce Canvas Video Suite. So, sino, po, sino na po dito nakagamit ng video sa Canva? Paki uh, taas kamay or say yes sa chat. Ayan. So, ito yung slide na pinakita ko kanina. Pero, ayan. So, for the past two and a half years na nandito sa Canva, we've been working para makapag-produce ng sobrang daming videos for you. And excited din kami makita kung ano mga videos na mga mapaproduce nyo. So, bakit nga ba hindi ganun ka-prominent ang videos sa businesses? Or bakit mahirap ang videos? ba? Diba? Because sa traditional na editing software, it's very complicated. Ang mga traditional video software ay often expensive. 
And kahit sabihin natin na afford mo, yung time, effort, and knowledge na kailangan para magamit yung editing software na yun is really, really a lot. Pero, yun nga, di ba? Kaya sa Canva. So with our video editor suite, kahit anong na-edit nyo sa Canva before, it is still the same editor and you can edit videos there. Kasi nga, one of our um, talagang values na hinahold through ay gawing simple ang mga komplikado. Make complex things simple. So, one of, our th one of the things that we want to achieve is to be the go-to editing platform for everyone. Again, nauna si Mika, and it, uh, sinabi niya kung paano yung mga photos. Dito rin sa videos, we want to be the go-to editing platform. And sabi ni Ms. Melanie Perkins, our CEO and founder, we've done 1% of what's possible. So we've still got a lot to do, but we celebrate success a long ago. So, dito na tayo. Paano nga ba gumawa ng videos sa Canva? So, ito yung maganda. Marami tayong magagandang templates that you can use as a starting point. Specifically, marami tayong magagandang templates for businesses. So ito, isa sa mga campaigns na ginawa namin, it's called Canva for Startups. Pwede yung search startup video, or itong dalawang templates at yo, pwede yung screenshot or kunin through the QR code. Yes, meron po tayo mga Canva for Startup videos that are for free, and meron din pong for fro. Fro? Fro? Okay. Inom mo na ang tubig. Meron ba kayong iniinom dyan? Ayan, sarap ng tubig. Okay, ito naman, Infomotion Templates. Pakimind na lang po kung may gusto kayong template doon. Ito naman, pang malupitang animation, pang infographics, and any very data-heavy information na kailangan yung i-present. Infomotion Templates are the way to go. Makikita nyo rin na marami ditong different kinds of Infomotion Templates. Pwede for announcements, for quotes, for FAQs, and yung pinag-usapan natin kanina yung call to action. And ito naman, isa sa mga recent video campaigns namin, ang mga promo video templates. So, sobrang perfect for businesses. Sobrang perfect for promoting videos in social media. So, again, may mga nagmay na ba? May mga nagmay ng baso. Na Canva baso. Yes. Pero... Yun din po ang included sa ating workbook. Hindi yung baso ay yung video. So what's inside the workbook is yung mga bago nating promo videos. It's very simple to use and I hope na mas marami pa kaming makita ang videos na ginawa nyo using Canva. And before I go, meron ako mga pabaon sa inyo sa paggawa ng video for your next or maybe even for your first video. So ano yung mga tips and tricks natin? Yan. So, ang animation, again, sa Canva, sobrang dali mag-animate. One or maybe two clicks lang, meron ka na magandang animation. Pero, dapat din, hindi tayo masobrahan. Kasi mas madali magdagdag, pero mas mabuting magbawas. Ang motion din ay element for branding. Kung ang tao ay may body language, sa video naman, meron tayong motion. Makikita nyo dito sa examples na dito sa lover's notebook, usan natin na very cute siya, very uh, appealing sa younger audience, kaya yung animation niya pasok sa ganong feel. Sabi ni Kay, hey, Bob, thanks for the workbook. Sabi ni Fra, worried. I always use the video edit. So yon. Yung mga minimal elegance din na video is also something that you can use para sa subtle na motion. Kasi hindi naman necessarily na pag sinabi yung motion, kailangan maligalig na. Diba? Paano kung social yung brand natin? Paano kung gusto natin na mas mag-focus sila sa information? Diba? Sabi ni Momski, Canva is my go-to pag animation. Yes. Ito naman, stickers. So, bukod sa pagpili nyo ng kahit anong element na pwede nyo dagdagan ng animation, you can also find stickers in our elements. Mga elements na meron ng built-in animation. Makikita nyo dito kung paano namin siya ginamit. Doon sa left example, may stickers sa gitna na nagfo-focus ng attention ng viewer sa gitna. 
Doon naman sa nasa right, yung mga stickers na nagsiscribble, ginamit natin siya to draw attention doon sa additional information on the bottom right. So again, use motion with intention. Ibig sabihin, dapat lahat ng i-add natin ay merong dahilan, especially with motion. And again, yung sinabi natin kanina, di ba, a good video should focus on the message. So dito makikita natin yung example na importante pa rin ang readability. Especially sa videos, parang sa photos, kailangan na babasa yung words. Dito, one good example na explain ni Nika earlier is yung pagbawas ng opacity, pag-add ng shadow dun sa hello world para mas mabasa siya. Sabi ni uh, Jacobo, sobrang helpful ng Canva, lalo na sa pwede mag-video edit. Sabi naman ni Jaja, what is the suggested video? Landscape or portrait? Yung applicable for reels. Yan. Mag-usapin natin later, pero para masagot yung tanong mo, yung mga videos, meron siyang iba't ibang sizes, depende kung saan natin siya gagamitin. Kung for reels, ang Instagram, gusto nila na ang reels mo ay naka-portrait. Yun yung mas binuboost nila sa algorithm and yun yung mas madali pa panoorin din ng mga users ng Instagram kasi they're using their phones. Next, ayun, yung pala yung tanong, saan ba ipopost, ba? Diba? Kasi bukod sa pag-consider ng tamang size for video, ba? Diba? Pag nag-shoot ka ng pa-landscape pero i-upload mo sa TikTok, delete siya. And importante rin to consider yung safe zones. So since we're uploading the, these videos on different social media platforms, what we want to do is to consider na ano ba yung platform na yun, di ba? Let's say sa TikTok, for example, marami silang mga user interface elements sa gilid. So baka mas maganda kung i-consider natin yun para mas ma-maximize natin yung video. Sa video naman, dapat match the music to the theme. So yung mga pinag-usapan natin kanina na movies, di ba? Yung mga movies na yun, nagiging maganda siya dahil sa soundtrack din. And kayo, pag nag-edit kayo, meron din tayo mga music options within Canva. Sabi ni Ronalyn, depende sa social media platform ang pag-uploadan. Yes, that's correct. So, yun din. Kapag nasa TikTok or Instagram Reels, meron na rin silang mga provisions for music and for editing your video. What is safe zones? So, sige, tignan ulit natin yung safe zones. So, safe zones ay yung mga area sa ating design na talagang dapat nandun yung central elements. So, makita natin dito sa uh, example on the right, di ba? Hindi niya kinonsider yung safe zone. So, sobrang lapit dun sa mga user interface elements ng text. Hindi niya na-maximize yung videos and yung safe zones. Kasi hindi niya na-consider na, ah, pag sa TikTok ito pinost, Maraming etche buretche dun sa gilid. Pero dun sa left, yung example natin, di ba, kinonsider niya na what if sa TikTok ito i-post, maraming mga elements sa gilid, kailangan ko siya i-maximize sa gitna. So, safe zones are yung mga areas kung saan natin siya pwede i-post. Yes, sabi ni Sir Jonathan, safe zones, areas where the content cannot be covered by other interactive user interfaces, I think. Yes, tama po yan. And so, mga huling pabaon ko lang po before mag-wrap up, screenshot niya siya. Uh, so first, sa do's, keep your copy, your copywriting short and sharp. Sa paggamit naman ng animated presets, use a maximum of 2 to 3 para hindi masyadong uh, cluttered yung design. We need to match the music then to the video's vibe. We need to allow enough time for all content to be read in your video. Know what an appropriate duration is for the platform you're creating a video for. Nako, sa Instagram, importante rin yun. Ang mga reels ay, I think, 90 seconds ang maximum. Pag sumabra ka doon, hindi favorable sa algorithm and minsan hindi siya ipopromote na Instagram outside of your followers. Sa mga don'ts naman, don't use too many videos or animated stickers. Again, dapat clear pa rin yung message. Dapat May intention yung i-add natin na motion. Then, don't apply too many different pieces of music or sound effects. So, kagaya nga po na sa visuals, ayaw natin na merong sensory overload. 
syempre ay din natin na yung mga music natin or sound effects ay masyado ring nakaka um nakabingi and hindi na maging clear yung message and also make your videos don't make your videos overly short or long and lastly don't use any offensive language or insensitive terms so yun yun po yung dulo ng presentation ko and tignan natin yung comments um allow po ba canva ang gamit ng video and audio template kapag i-upload sa social media platforms Yes, you can export it, pero syempre po, depende rin sa copyright ng mga platforms yung um, kung maka-copyright yung music na gamitin natin. Sabi ni PC, I almost gave up on editing videos by myself because I was intimidated with a known editor until I tried to learn Canva Video Editor. Since then, I was hooked. Thank you, Canva. Yes, thank you rin, PC. Ano pang pwede natin tingnan sa comments? Nagandang gamitin talaga ang video Canva for video editing pagdating sa vlogging and YouTube. Oh, Mary Roan C. De Los Santos. I-drop mo yung vlog mo, baka magkaroon ka ng mga dagdag na followers. And nakagulat ha, kasi kahit sa amin, hindi pa namin na-explore ang vlog videos sa templates. Si M. Edgardo, sabi niya, di ko pinapansin dati ang Canva, pero dahil sa weather na ito, nagka-interesado na ako. Thank you po. Tignan natin. Yes, yan. Sobrang helpful ng Canva, lalo na nung pwede na mag-video edit. Yan. Canva is my go-to pag animation. Wow. Sabi rin dito ni Love Jira, may tip siya. Look at the latest trends to catch the audience attention. Yes, that's true. Sabi ni Mr. Iza, never tried video edit in Canva before, but I will try it now. Thank you po. Wow, si Tony, 2015 pa daw siya gumagamit ng Canva. I use Canva for my family videos too. Grabe. Easy to use. Sabi ni Grace, been using Canva po for my apparel business. Lakas mo professional look with Canva. Yes, yun po. So, din nagtatapos ang aking presentation. But wait, marami pa kaming hinanda. Magbabalik si Nice, so stay tuned. Ayan, thank you so much again, Dre. Grabe, ang dami kong na-discover. Kayo ba? Sige nga, i-type niya sa chat ko ano yung mga na-discover niyo today. Yung mga TIL moments niyo ulit. Today I learned. Ayan, feel ko naman lahat kami after nito, biglang puro videos ng promo promotional videos namin, o ba? Diba? So alam ko, inaabangan nyo na yung Q&A natin. But again, bigyan muna natin ng time ang speakers natin. Uminom ng water kasi baka mahirap yung questions nyo eh. Char, ayan. We have a surprise for you. Habang nagiintay ang tanong namin ay everyday namin question to eh. Gusto niyo ba ng Canva Pro? Ng Canva Swag Kits? Ng Canva Print Voucher? Ayan, sino mga nag-yes yung pinaka, pinaka yes na yes yung feelings? Tingin ko yun talaga yun. Ayan, si Alma, yes na yes. Si Kat, yes na yes. Grabe yung pagka-yes ramdam namin from wherever you are to here sa aming Canva campus. Ayan, okay, so paano? Paano tayo makakakuha ng mga rewards na, na to? So we are having our Canva Design Awards. Ano ito? Magkakaroon tayo ng one simple task or to-do list every after session. Yung iba in-announce na namin the previous day. All you have to do is to complete the three assignments, one each day, and we will announce the lucky recipients of our gifts sa ating culminating activity on Friday, June 9. Meron tayong 500 na makaka-receive ng 3-month Canva Pro subscription. So ayan, 500. Kaya kung ako talaga sa inyo, sasali na ako. Eh. Gagawin ko yung homework. Madali lang naman. Sasubmit ko, send ko. Balay nyo, makakuha kayo ng 5, ay, ng 3-month Canva Pro. And bukod doon, magkakaroon din tayo ng 5 recipients of Canva Pro 
Canva print and Canva swag. So lima ang mapapan yung lima na yon ang mapapanalunan nila ay yung tatlong prizes na yon. Kung sino man yung mapipili ng judges natin. O sabi ni Joan, ito daw talaga yung assignment na gusto kong gawin. Ako din. Ayan. Sabi ni Antonet, i-manifest daw niya na sana siya ang top 1. Okay, paano sumali? Step 1, attend all the sessions on June 5, 6, 7, and 9. Step 2, abangan nyo lang yung assignment natin every day. We highly encourage you to do this every day para hindi kayo mahirapan on submission day which is tomorrow. Ang promise namin ay madadali lang tong take-home challenge natin. So sige nga, sino nang nakagawa nung day 1 and day 2 kung nagawa niya niya, sabihin nyo lang me. Done. Kahit alin doon. Ayan, me daw, medyo madami na rin nakagawa. Pero hindi nyo pa dapat isubmit kasi ngayon natin sasabihin ang Day 3 challenge. Okay, back to step 4. All you have to do is to submit your designs. Deadline will be on June 8, Thursday at 10 a.m. So kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong webinar tomorrow kasi that day is meant for you to finish your take-home challenge. After noon, there will be a panel of judges that will score your designs based on creativity, clarity, design concept, and originality. So bukas mangyayari ng lahat ng yan. And lastly, wait for the announcement of winners on our culminating activity on June 9, Friday. So ayan, ready na ba kayo sa take-home challenge natin? Wait lang, bago tayo mag-next, nabasa ko si Kim. And actually, yung iba din, ang tanong nila, I missed some of the presentation due to absence. So saan nyo, mal nyo malalaman yung ibang take-home challenge? Ito na, i-recap namin para sa inyo. Okay, ang take-home challenge natin, so nung, for day one, ang take-home challenge natin ay sobrang dali. Create your account on Canva. Whether you're free or pro or teams, kung ano man yung swak sa pangangailangan nyo, sign up lang kayo. Pero kung may Canva account na kayo, no problem, perfect na yon. Kailangan nyo lang naman yun para ma magawa yung ibang homework for the next couple of days. So, madali lang. Diba, nakaregister na ba kayo? Sino dito ang may Canva account na at sino ang wala pa? Ayan, sabihin nyo nga sa chat kung meron na kayo. Yan, me, medyo madami na rin. Medyo madami na ang may Canva account. Okay. Very good yan. Okay. Kung meron na kayo, check na kayo for day one challenge. Tingnan naman natin for day two. Sabi ni Veronica, yes daw, meron na. Naka-pro pa siya. Okay, we love that. Okay, day two naman. We ask you to build your brand kit. So kung nakinig kayo kahapon sa branding and social media na, media marketing natin na topic, sobrang dali lang nitong homework na to para sa inyo. So tapos na ba kayo dito sa first part? Type nyo lang done sa comment section kung tapos na kayo. Okay, ang galing ha. Medyo madami na kayo. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo crammers. Hindi crammers ang audience natin dito. Okay, 50%. Tama. Tama naman din yun. Perfect. May time pa kayo just for tomorrow. Ayan, sila Mika, Xander, Ka si Mabeth. Okay, done na. So, ito na. For today, ano nga ba ang ating take-home challenge? Applying everything that you've learned, design a social media video of your product. So yung negosyo nyo, kung ano mang product or service nyo, gawa nyo to ng social media video. So design kayo ng social media post promoting your product in video format. Pwede kayong gumamit ng pictures, since pictures ang topic natin kanina, or animations or actual video. So ayan, try nyo na, gawin nyo na, aabangan namin yan. Okay? Ayan, sige, sino ang gagawa na nito tonight? Sabi ni Ronnie, easy, done. Easy daw. Na-apply na niya yung natutunan niya sa inyo. Nagawa na niya. Okay, gagawin na nila tonight. Ayan, favorite namin yung mga ganyan. Yung mga ginagawa agad, yung homework. Okay, pag okay na kayo, don't forget to submit them in the Google form we've created. So all you have to do is go to this site, itong website na nakita niyo on screen. Isi-share din ng engagers namin yung link sa chat. Makikita niyo dyan ang instructions and submission link. So we will wait for your submissions at exactly 10 a.m. tomorrow, after which we have selected a really great lineup of judges to judge your work. We will announce again the lucky recipients on June 9, Friday. And just in case lang may questions kayo, kunyari habang ginagawa niyo, may tanong kayo, feel free to message us sa Facebook and we will get back to you right away. But so far, 
everything you need to know to complete the stay home challenge is saved or nandyan sa website na yan. Okay? So, ayan. Tingnan natin. Ilang minutes daw ang max ng video. Wala naman but ideally, mga 30 seconds ang pinaka-ideal na video format ng promotional video nyo. Okay. Yun lang. Next na, we can now proceed to our Q&A. Pero, before pala nun, meron pa kaming announcement. If you enjoyed this session, you might be interested to join our Pilot Teams Case Study Program. So, we are looking for five teams with up to ten members. So, kunyari, sa negosyo nyo ngayon, hindi ka lang mag-isa. Dalawa kayo, tatlo, or apat na nagtutulungan to make your negosyo successful. Kayo ang hinahanap namin. So, sali na. Qualified teams will enjoy the following perks. So, free Canva for your teams upgrade for one whole year. Canva print vouchers to bring your designs to life. Canva swag kit per team packed with exclusive team goodies. And feedback, ito, pinaka-importante sa lahat. May chance kayo magkaroon ng feedback and mentorship sessions with Canva experts guiding you to success. Guiding you to success. So, ayan, tignan natin. Okay, meron ba dito interested? Type nyo lang sa chat. Okay, pwede daw po bang NGO group? Babalikan namin kayo dyan. Okay, this is it, pansit. Next, I will call on Dre and Mika to join me para sa ating Q&A. Q&A na tayo dapat, pero si, gusto, ito kasi, pag nakita ito kasi, i-announce na natin yung nag, yung nanalo sa ating, ayan wait, humabol, humabol ang sound, okay, ang ibig sabihin yan, di ba, ano ibig sabihin ng bell sige nga, ano ibig sabihin ng bell i-type nyo sa chat, ano ibig sabihin sabi, recess daw, correct perfect, Pwede. recess na talaga ayan, okay, sabi may nanalo na may gift, ayan, tama kayong lahat, so sino nga ba ang sinuerte yung makaka-receive ng 6-month Canva Pro subscription, so ito na nandito na I will ask our guest speakers to announce the two winners. Sige nga, may two winners tayo. Okay. One from Zoom. One sa, isa mula sa mga nanunood na sa atin from Zoom. At isa mula naman sa mga nanunood sa atin from Facebook. Facebook. Okay. O sige. Ako ba sa Zoom? Sige, dahil Zoom muna. Ikaw ang sa Zoom. Okay. okay. Ang ating... Ang ating <laughs> swerteng manunood po. Congratulations, okay. Diana! <laughs> Congrats! Andyan ka ba? Kung andyan ka, igalaw mo na yung baso sa chat. Okay? And then next, ang nanalo naman. Ang nanalo sa Facebook. Meron ba tayong palakpakan dyan? Meron ba ditong Jasper Alikna? Ayan, Jasper Alikna. Okay, are you there? Are you there? Ayan, congratulations sa lahat ng, na ng nanalo. Again, it's Diana May Tangente at Jasper Alikna. So, um, Diana and Jasper, please don't forget to message us on Facebook. We will actually try our best to reach you. Pero just in case, hindi namin kayo mahanap. Best friend for you to message us on Facebook agad-agad. Para mabigay na rin namin agad-agad. Yes. So, ayan. At dahil dyan, congratulations again. Pwede na tayo mag... Q and A. <laughs> Alam nyo, nirehearse namin yung kanina eh, sa totoo lang. <laughs> Andito na tayo again. Sayang na may nirehearse natin. Andito na tayo. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah. okay, take two kami ha. Andito na tayo sa ating live. Q and A. Okay, perfect. Ang galing namin, di ba? Supportahan nyo naman kami doon. Okay, ayan. Next. Okay, ang question natin ay... From Adrian and Dino, sabi niya, Does Canva editing on photo have a feature that can enhance the picture? 
like adjusting the contrast and brightness. So, siguro for this question, ang, tata ang sasagot ay si... Si Dre. Oh, yeah, si Dre. Kasi siya yun okay. eh. So, so, let's have Mika. Okay, Ayan. so Adrian, yes, you can enhance your photo on Canva. So, ang click mo lang is yung edit photo na button. Click adjust and you can adjust the brightness and contrast of your photo. Ayun. Okay, in fairness ha, may mga nag -yes. So, ibig sabihin... Alam din nila ang answer. Yes. Ayan. Thank okay. You. Thank you so much, Adrian. Sana na-answer namin ang question mo. Next question. Kung may mga questions pa kayo, feel free to type them in the chat. For now naman, from Lori, sabi niya, How many seconds do you recommend for short social media video content? Actually, feeling ko makatulong to dun sa homework nila. Yes. Okay. So, depende siya kung saan natin siya i-upload. So, kunwari, let's say, sa Instagram Reels, 90 seconds, sa TikTok, marami siyang uh, mahaba yung limit niya, pero I think ang suggested ay 2 minutes. Um, and also, of course, depende rin kung ano ba yung content. I think, para din ma-answer natin siya na isang answer lang, 30 seconds. Marami rin nagsabi sa chat natin. Yeah. Ayan, okay, may mga answers sila. Ako din siguro, I just like to add to that, no? Um, ako sa social media manager, kami sa team namin, ang usual guidelines namin ay 30 seconds to 1 minute max. Mm. Kasi usually, pag nakalagpas ka na ng 1 minute, na iwan, nawala na yung nanonood. <laughs> so, best talaga to keep it short, keep it straight, at keep it, ang usual din namin suggestion ay dapat umpisa pa lang nakuha mo na attention nila. First yes. 2 seconds, first 3 seconds, tama ba? First 2 or 3, no? That's true. Okay, ang next question naman natin ay from Lizelle Belangel. Sabi niya, how to resize features? Salamat. Okay, ang answer natin dyan ay to resize to exact dimensions, all you have to do is click position on the toolbar above the editor. So, pag nandun na kayo, under advanced, enter nyo lang yung pixel values in the width and height fields Tapos, you can also lock aspect ratio to keep its proportion. So, ayan, Liza, sana na-answer namin ang question mo. But just in case you need a demo, you can post this question sa ating communities. Tapos, we will be there to give you a demo of this one, to answer your question, or para magka-visual tayo. Okay, so for now, um, sana na-answer namin yung question mo. Meron ba ba tayong next question? Tingnan natin. Okay, from EJ De La Cruz. Sabi niya, meron din po bang option to enhance blurred photo to sharp photo? Interesting tong question na to. So, okay. sige, si Dre, char, si Mika <laughs> ang sasagot. Okay. okay, so EJ, ang sagot ay yes. Select the photo, click edit photo, and choose adjust to display the rest of the editing tools. So, meron ka may kitang sharpen option doon or unblur an image. Use the clarity slider in the image adjust panel and move the blur slider to the negative. So, ayun. Adjust mo lang yung blur na slider. Nakonchus ako sa kamay ko. <laughs> <laughs> ayan, alam nyo, try nyo yan. Ako personally, na-try ko yung feature na yan. Life-changing. Wow, life-changing. <laughs> Pero try nyo na. Tapos balitaan nyo kami kung anong experience nyo. Okay, tignan pa natin ang mga next question. Okay, ito naman from Love Hamandre. Are the music in Canva available? Ay, mali, sorry. Are the music available in Canva ro royalty-free po? So. I have three words. 11 letters. Well, what's that? Kaya sa Canva. <laughs> oh, I love. Okay. Okay. So, okay. we have both free audio music and also premium audio in our library. So, simply go to audio and then you can find mga free and pro options in music just like the videos and photos so feel free to explore ayan actually ang gusto ko lang i-share no yung mga video sounds na naririnig niyo kanina kung nandito pa kayo um nung lobby video sa um, pinag-aantay namin kayo um kinuha namin sa Canva library yung audio so ayan hindi naman tayo na ban ni Facebook so i think ay, so we are actually good to go royalty free naman yung mga mm -hmm. music natin okay next question Ito naman, sabi niya, available po ba ang video editing sa free? So yes, good news naman to for everyone. Video editing is also available sa free version. So ayan, naka-free man kayo, naka 
pro man kayo, kayang-kaya mag-edit ng video sa Canva. O, di ba? Okay, so ayan, as much as we'd like to answer your question, wala na tayong masyadong time, but wag kayong mag-aalala dahil you can, like I said earlier, kung may tanong pa kayo, pwedeng-pwede yun i-post sa communities natin, and dun kami to answer it. So to all freelancers and creatives out there, join our official community at Canva for Pinoy Freelancers and Creatives. At para naman sa mga business owners natin, join our community Canva for Negosyantes. So ayan, sumali kayo doon ha. That's it for today. Remember, wala tayong webinar tomorrow. We will give you the time to work on your design challenges bukas until 10 a.m. 10 a.m. dapat na submit nyo na yon sa Google Form. See you again on Friday as we talk about Canva print naman. So promise ko, sobrang gandang topic tong Canva print. We really save the best for last at syempre, dun din namin niya announce yung lucky recipients which will be announced on that day. So see you, see you at lagi niyong tatandaan... <laughs> Ay, nakalimutan na nila. Alam ko, kanina, ang ganda talaga ng pagkababay natin. Kaya yun. Kaya. Oh. <laughs> Sayang. Yes, isa pa. Ay, isa pa. Okay. 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 Oh, may nakakuha ng script natin. Mm -hmm. Lagi niyang tatandaan, kaya sa Canva. <laughs> o oh, sige, pwede na yun, guys. Okay. See you on Friday. Same time, same place, same Zoom link. Kita-kits. Bye! Bye!